Lambertian shading. Lambertian shading is a soft lighting with no specular component. It is used to shade our model by any nearby lights. This lighting model takes the incoming light direction and compares it with the normal direction to get a gradient fall off of light. So we calculate our lighting with many vectors. We have the light direction, or the direction that the light is coming from, the view direction, and this is the direction to the viewer's eye, the normal direction, the direction straight away from the surface, the reflected direction, and this is at 90 degrees from the light based on the normal direction, and we also have a halfway vector, and the halfway vector is halfway between the view and the light. So what we can do is we can use a, what's called a dot product to calculate the distance between these vectors to create variances in lighting. So let's take a look at the dot product. The dot product is a very common function in lighting. We'll be using it a lot, so I want you guys to understand how it works. When I first learned how to write shaders, I wrote many shaders before I even knew what the dot product was doing. But what it does is it returns a value of negative 1 to 1 as the first vector gets close to, to the second. Let's start with two vectors, vectors ABC and DEF. Now the dot product of ABC and DEF is A times D plus B times E plus C times F. Now this here will return a vector of negative 1 to 1. So it doesn't make a lot of sense at the moment if you looked straight at the math. But when you look at a diagram, it actually makes a lot more sense. So, I've prepared for you a diagram. So you can see, as the normal direction gets close to the light, it will return a value of 1, which will be white. As it faces away, it will have negative 1. And when it's facing perpendicular, it will have a value of 0, which is black. So we, don't, we usually don't care about the values um, less than 0. So we'll use a few functions to deal with that. And I'll be t talking about those a little bit later. That is the normalize and the saturate. For now, let's take a look at how we deal with light direction. So getting the light direction is easy. We use the built-in value uh, variable world space light pulse zero. Now this is a special float for that handles any light. For point lights, world space light pulse zero dot xyz, the first three vectors, is the location. For the directional lights, it is the rotation. And W, the fourth component, is 1 for a directional and 0 for a point light. We'll only work for directional lights for now. Later on we will incorporate point lights and we'll possibly look into working with spotlights at a later stage, but likely not within this series. Let's take a look at normal direction. So getting the normal direction is a little more tricky. You first need to assign a variable the normal semantic. You remember semantics from part 1 when we covered how to work with the position semantic. Normal is the same way. Next, we multiply that semantic by the world to object float 4x4 matrix to get the object space normal direction to use in lighting. We'll do this in the vertex program for vertex lighting, and we can also do that in the fragment program for per pixel lighting. Let's take a look at the practical exercise. Now that we've covered the theory, it is time to put it into practice. I am now going to create a material and shader in Unity 4, assign the material to a surface, create a Lambert shader from scratch, and I will be re-explaining a lot of the theory lesson as I write the shader, as well as a few new things that I haven't yet covered. Let's go ahead and get started.